all right, I'm I'm nothing if not uh, if not willing to react. I think where Blizzard messed up in Shadowlands is to give players what they wanted, and turns out they shouldn't have listened. Here is here is the logic, okay? Listen to this. What uh -huh. I pointed out a few days ago was the question as to why Shadowlands, despite being very close and very similar to the type of content that has been released in BFA and in Legion, it feels so much worse in the eyes of the community. BFA was just as bad as Shadowlands. The reason it feels so much worse is because it didn't come off a good expansion. It came off of a shit expansion and it was just the same shit. So... All right, I'll give him another chance. Make your point. Even if you remove, even if you remove all of the bad PR, which has been compounding on giving Shadowlands a bad look, from the lawsuits to the competing other games like Final Fantasy, where many content. King Julian, why do you why do you think I'm trying to change your mind? If anything, you are trying to change my mind. I have never tried to change anyone's mind. I have never said that me not liking WoW means you shouldn't like WoW either. Gaming is subjective and you can like it, it's not my problem. I don't judge people for liking a f***ing game. People like different things. The creators are currently even not even bothering. King Julian, thank you much for one's up, really appreciate that bro. 23 months in a row. Are we gonna do this for another two years? King Julian, you and I disagreeing on literally fucking everything? Or uh, are you going to come around to my way of thinking eventually? Because we've been doing this for 23 months now. 23 fucking months. Chat, I'm not lying. Ever since King Julian joined this chat, me and him have been disagreeing on almost fucking everything that I have to say. Like, it doesn't matter what I say, uh, myself and King Julian have been disagreeing on it. Oh, I have many. Super Snoot. I have many viewers that don't agree with shit and we'll fight sometimes. Um, we'll have disagreements, but I, I hope that most of my viewers know that it doesn't come from a place of malicious, right? I'm not trying to, like, when I call you out or when I tell you what the fuck are you talking about or anything like that, it's not coming from a place where I'm, I'm trying to belittle you or trying to attack you. It's genuinely just a conversation. So I hope that most people know, you know, things are... I just say whatever the fuck I think, and I encourage my chat to say the exact same thing, right? Say what's on your mind. Say what you believe. Don't worry about my feelings or the feelings of anyone else in chat. Speak your mind, right? Speak your mind. If you do go too far, I'll fucking tell you, right? But for the most part, I want people that's willing to speak their mind. To play with WoW because of the little following it has, creating an even worse sort of atmosphere around the game, as well as the delays, whether or not they were caused by the COVID pandemic or not. The patches have been delayed by a lot. So there is this entire thing compounding on top of Shadowlands, which is making it feel worse. Even if you exclude all of that, we could make a poll. We could ask some mm -hmm. uh, statements from the witnesses who have played the game, at least since Legion and we would be able to see, we would be able to hear the responses and very likely people would have said that Legion was the better expansion, BFA was sort of in the middle, some good things, some bad things. No, 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 no. <laughs> if, look, if Shadowlands didn't have the content drought, Shadowlands would have been a million times better than BFA. If you put BFA and Shadowlands next to each other, BFA is dark shit, right so no no you're wrong like what what kind of fucking statement is that bfa was shit shadowlands is shit started because the story was crap but the game was actually quite fun i enjoyed shadowlands when it first came out the problem is i had to enjoy shadowlands when it first came out for nine fucking months and then when they finally did bring new content, they, they gave me the Taint of Secrets. They promised the City of Secrets. I got the fucking Taint of Secrets. Now, of course, they could explain that with lore just by saying that the Titans have different words that have different meanings. And actually, their word for city is the same as the word for Taint. And that would make a fucking difference. But to be clear, the reason Shadowlands shits the bed isn't because it was a bad expansion at the beginning. It had bad ideas and the bad ideas really dragged it down. But the nine month content drought didn't do anything to help that.
things and then Shadowlands was the worst one of these three. These have been the post Warlords expansions where Blizzard created this new cast this new mold in how to develop the expansions, the expansion cycles, the way in which they wanted to develop patches and content throughout the expansion, etc, mm -hmm. etc. They have been very, very close in how they have been developed. Yet, Shadowlands seems to be so much worse than the previous two expansions, which gets you thinking. It gets you thinking because when you look at Shadowlands and you compare it to the previous expansions and you look at what you can do in the game, so if you count doing mythic plus and then mm. doing the raid and then doing world quests and then having a class hall or a garrison or a campaign mission which expands and continues throughout the expansion and even having the same mission table with followers etc etc all these mechanics all these systems have been in place since legion they have been available in the last three expansions in a very similar way near identical that's the same cast that blizzard has used no again different uh so different wow it, it's insane when you start making points and then lying about the f***ing points to make the points okay i i hate to do this especially to a smaller content creator because i do think that this guy has some decent thoughts but in legion the system that you had that you refer to as the same f***ing system isn't the same f***ing system. Because in Legion, the artifact weapon system slotted into everything in the game. It didn't matter what you did. It didn't matter how you wanted to level your artifact weapon. You could do it whichever way you f***ing wanted. So, for example, I wanted to do dungeons. I didn't, but someone wanted to do dungeons in order to level their artifact weapon. They could do dungeons to level their, art their artifact weapon. I basically leveled my entire artifact weapon on every single character that I had through raids. I didn't really spam Mythic Plus. I didn't have to. I could just do the raids and bam, I would have my artifact weapon leveled. The game basically gave me a system that leveled up through whichever way I wanted to level it up as. I wasn't in any way, shape, or form forced into anything. With BFA, the Azerite armor system forced me into island expeditions at the first uh, for the first two patches. That was the way to level your your heart of the Azeroth, heart of Azeroth, right? Shadowlands takes that even fucking further, where you have to do Torghast for legendaries in order to fucking raid. The raids give zero uh, currency for raid for legendaries. Only Torghast gives currency for legendaries. Then you have to do the more in order to get f***ing currency. You have to do your covenant shit in order to level your covenant so that you can actually get soul binds. Nothing else gives you XP with your soul binds. It's only the stuff that you do for your covenant. So no, the game became more fractured and that's why Shadowlands is an absolute pile of shite. It's because the systems are completely and utterly unrelated to one another but it has fuck all to do with the fact that they're the same. They're not the fucking same. So how is it that Shadowlands is being received so much worse than BFA and then I explained Legion? That. Which is back to the first thing I said at the start of this video. I think in Shadowlands, Blizzard has been very honest in how they wanted to change some of the mechanics, some of the systems in the game, which ended up um, backfiring horribly. Because in Legion and BFA, Blizzard was able to develop essentially emotional blackmail. Blizzard was able to develop mm -hmm. systems which manipulated players to stay in the game for longer and to give them a feeling that outside of the things you would have done anyways, like Mythic Plus, like raids, like PvP, you wanted to stay in the game. Those how is that different to what Shadowlands is doing? I, I don't follow the difference here. How, how is that different? Those were systems that people had been complaining a lot about. Those were systems that were considered bad by the community. And Blizzard, rightfully so, eventually decided to get rid of all of them at once. When? I want to play this guy Shadowlands. Fuck, he's playing a different game. Is there two versions of Shadowlands? Like, do friends of Blizzard get a better fucking game than the rest of us? Because I want to play this guy's Shadowlands. He's playing a completely different one. In his Shadowlands, there's no systems that force you to do anything. There's nothing that keeps you in the game for any reason whatsoever. What, what fucking game are you playing, brother?
Shadowlands in Shadowlands. The problem that this caused is that players no longer had any blackmail against them to keep them in the game. Players no longer <laughs> felt manipulated. What about Torghost? What about the Covenants? What about the Soulbinds? What about the Mythic Plus system? What about the rating system? What about the fucking Vault? The Vault? Okay, so apart from all of those systems, he's correct. He's right. There's nothing that keeps you in the fucking game whatsoever. Apart from those systems, of course, that I already mentioned. Corthia fucking research grind. But okay, uh, fine. Related Let's go. enough to spend time in the game and suddenly they realized the content was lacking. What exactly <laughs> am I talking about? Well, yeah. for starters, artifact power, azerite power, and anima power. In the previous two expansions, you felt compelled, you felt forced, you felt required to spend time in the game to collect artifact power or to collect azerite power because they were extremely tightly linked to yeah. character power. You wanted your artifact power because you had to level up your weapons. You wanted to unlock your mini talent tree inside your weapon. Again, he is basically playing down the issue in order to make his point, which is incredibly dishonest. Now, I don't know if he's doing this to be dishonest, that, that I can't know, right? It might just be that he hasn't thought this through. Now, I will say when I was his size, I had a couple of hot takes that were absolutely incredibly bad. I don't judge the guy. When you're a young content creator, you oftentimes put out videos that you do not think about. So I, I don't I don't want any hate towards this guy. Let me fucking go after him because he has the right to respond to me. But don't all of you now pile on to this guy. I don't think that's uh, okay. Here's what I will say, right? He's basically ignoring the differences, right? Yes, Azerite armor uh, or Azer Azerite meant a lot. But you cannot make the argument that artifact power was similar to Azerite. Because they weren't the same. They functioned completely differently. That's like saying, well, you know, oil and water is basically the same because they're both fluids. Yes, they're both fluids, but they're clearly not the fucking same thing. It's stupid to me to even go about saying that, to even go about sort of trying to compare the systems they achieved the same thing they built your power but how you got the thing is really what created the problem even when you wanted to reroll to a different spec you still had to spend artifact power to bring that specs weapon up of course the entire system had other good feedback about it for example the artifact weapons having tons of different collectible appearances keeping you in the game that was a very nice positive but the main also he's ignoring what you got out of your grind with legion your grind which was completely choice based you could choose where you wanted to grind when you finally did your grind what you got out of it was actually really cool traits that actually impacted the way you played the game, which was a lot of fun, right? Grinds are not inherently bad. The problem with BFA and with Shadowlands is that the grind gives you absolutely fuck all. Who's excited whenever they unlock a new Soulbind? I should put my hand down, because that's not me. The Soulbind system feels like it was literally thrown together by a fucking intern. The guy woke up one day, walked into the office, and someone said, hey, you need to design a bunch of shit. And he's like, uh, for what game? No, don't worry about the game. Just design a bunch of crap. It does nothing. It doesn't really change your play style. It feels fucking weird and useless. You, you get extra mats whenever you kill things. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That, that's game breaking. At least with Legion, when you got a new trait, that trait would have some kind of impact. When you got when you got to unlock a new golden trait, that, that trait would have a massive impact. I'm not saying that the system was perfect because it fucking wasn't. But at least the system had certain things that, that made you excited. Whereas with BFA and with Shadowlands, the things that you would unlock are just horrible. They're just bad reason the main the main pull was the fact that you needed to grind artifact power that was the thing it's the reason why people went for example to endlessly farm the fastest mythic plus dungeons back in legion because mythic the only people who farmed the fastest dungeons were hardcore world first raiders no one else did that 
and I don't have a problem with that. Hardcore World First, First Raiders will always engage in toxic gameplay for that edge. I leveled all of my fucking shit all of my artifacts just by raiding and i wasn't really behind anyone else in my guild even the people that hardcore spammed i was like a week behind the rest of them it, it comes down to choice you had choices at least in legion whereas in bfa and shadowlands you had zero choice the game basically decided on your behalf what is important what is in it let's not forget his original premise is that shadowlands sucks because blizzard listened to the player base he still, and we're uh, five minutes into the video, I am still waiting for him to finally explain how that is a thing. Plus gave artifact power, so people wanted to grind dungeons like Moth Souls to acquire as much AP as possible. It's why every day for months and months and months into the expansions, people still went around doing world quests because they gave artifact power. The same can be said for BFA. BFA had Azerite power, but in terms of character power, it was the same. Blizzard developed. And people complained about it even then. This is what this guy don't seem to understand. People complained about the Azerite grind uh, when the Azerite grind was happening. People complained about the artifact power grind when the artifact power grind was happening. So I don't know what point he's trying to make. Uh, because people weren't okay with those things. It wasn't as if people went, oh my God, this is the best thing ever, right? People were complaining about it. Does he forget the uh, controversies around the legendaries in Legion? And how shit the legendary system was in Legion? Elops Azerite Armor. Azerite Armor has rings that you have to unlock based on the level of your Azerite necklace, which means, again, you have to spend time going around, doing world quests, completing emissaries because you want the AP. Then we go into Shadowlands and Blizzard says, guys, we listened. Guys, we knew you did not really like all of this continuous, endless grind of this currency, of this player power currency, so we are going to get rid of it. Initially, people were very skeptical. People. I want to play this guy's version of Shadowlands. If anything, they added more grind they 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 added more what what the fuck are you talking about like where did they remove the grind what what game are you playing bro people were memeing on the fact that blizzard after artifact power into azerite power they came up with anima power and it would have totally been just like the two previous systems but eventually they saw the evidence anima power was a system that had nothing to do with character power so if you didn't care about it if you didn't want to do it you did not have that emotional blackmail that manipulative system that pushed you to chase this new current you need anima in order to unlock Renown, you need to do your Covenant shit in order to unlock Renown. Renown is quite literally tied to player power. So, what? Anima may not be as heavily tied to player power as Azerite or Artifact power, but it's still tied to player power. You still need Anima in order to get Renown. I'm not entirely sure what this guy is talking about. I'm, I'm genuinely, uh, it, it baffles me. Plus, basically what he's ignoring is he's saying that the only thing that can be considered a grind in a video game is when you're grinding for a specific resource and the resource must be something that starts with an A, right? Uh, if it doesn't start with an A, it's not a grind. W what about the Torghast grind in order to get your soul ash? I know it starts with an S and that doesn't really fit your examples, but what about the grind for your vault? What about the Mythic Plus grinding? Uh, there's still grinds. Sure, those grinds aren't just tied to anima, but that makes it worse because where in the past, at least with BFA and with Shadowlands and with Legion, you only ever had to grind for one resource. In Shadowlands, you are grinding now for multiple resources fractured into their own little ways of actually being able to achieve them. 
So I'm still not entirely sure how Blizzard listened to us. Because we all asked for less grind and more freedom. Blizzard gave us more grind and less freedom. So how, how did Blizzard listen to us? How is this the player's fault? just because you wanted to power up your character. The problem that this caused is the fact that now, what is your incentive in doing world quests? Ask yourself this, when's the last time you went in Shadowlands through the four different regions to hunt for some AP? When's the last time you logged in, you opened the map, you clicked, on all of the AP quests in the game and then with your world quest tracker you went around and got all of that AP for you. That's right, you don't do this. That's the problem. You do Torghast instead and you, you spam your covenant shit so that you can actually unlock um, your renown and you do Corthia so that you can unlock your Corthia research and you have to spam to get your domination shards. So, yeah, the, the, the grind has been replaced by multiple fucking grinds. You don't do this because it doesn't matter anymore. The problem with the fact that it doesn't matter anymore is that it doesn't keep you in the game. This guy is basically saying, I don't know why you guys are complaining. We are no longer lighting you on fire as they're funneling razor blades into your app. Yeah, you're right. This is much better. <laughs> this is, I mean, what the fuck is this? Yes, you might not have liked it. Yes, you might have gotten frustrated. Yes, it might have brought you to get burned out with the game faster. But then again, why do people see Legion and why do people see BFA more positively than they do Shadowlands? We just settled with the notion that these systems were not enjoyed by the community, yet people spent more time in the game because of these systems. Blizzard removed them because the community supposedly did not enjoy them, but this caused, as a result, the community to not find any other reason to spend more time in the game. This can oh be extended God. to other systems that Blizzard removed because they were not very well liked by the community. One example at the forefront is RNG. RNG is, of course, a cheap, an easy way to get people into the game because you never know once you're getting your reward. You don't have deterministic rewards, okay. you don't have a timetable that you can set on your calendar and know exactly when you can get your reward, so they get you to stay in the game to try to complete whichever activity it is to receive the rewards. And in previous expansions we had the capital crime of this system which is Titan Forging. Titan Forging was yet another manipulative system to get you to stay but in the I, game. I still don't follow this guy's argument because even if I were to accept everything he's saying now, he is effectively, uh, uh, he, he, he's still, he's blaming the player base for Shadowlands being shit because he says Blizzard listened to us, the players, when none of the players asked for anything that is in Shadowlands. And before people go, well, we no longer have, because he's now making a point about Titan Forging and War Forging. Titan Forging and War Forging have literally just been replaced by the, 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 the fucking vault. You're still basically running your ass off, doing the same shit content over and over again, hoping for RNG in your vault. Yeah, sure, your individual pieces of gear no longer RNG to fuck, but you still have RNG, and RNG still basically forces you to play the game constantly. Because now, suddenly, not only are you pushed in doing AP world quests, because they give you character power, you are even pushed to do item reward world quests. Because you know that any one of those items that you're getting from those world quests can titan forge into a mythic quality item. Again, this is another example, something the community was very vocal against. Another yeah. example of something the community complained a lot about. I actually wanted to cry when they finally announced that fucking uh, titan forging, war forging was removed. That the community said was burning them out or was frustrating them because they felt like they need to do it as it was a very easy way to get some massive character power if you were lucky so blizzard got rid of it in shadowlands but then what happened what happened is when's the last time you went in the open world to complete an item world quest you see that's right after the first few weeks now yeah, but what you're talking about is reward-based game design, which is 
Mobile gaming. Bro, in other words, people will not partake in content if there isn't rewards. What the f*** are you talking about? If a game is fun, people will do it for fun. People will play the game because playing the game is actually fun. When you design a video game around rewards and people don't do it because the rewards suck, it means that your game sucks. It does... That's... What the f***? <laughs> if you want to know whether or not your game is good, remove all the rewards and see if people still do it. If people stop doing it, it means your game isn't fun. That is literally it. That is how it's supposed to be. The only thing that happened in Shadowlands, and he is actually half correct here. He's actually half correct. Shadowlands revealed to the majority of players that the game is fucking shit. You see, because the rewards were no longer good, and people suddenly realized, hold on, I'm not having fun. I don't actually look forward to the rewards that I'm getting. And I'm not actually having fun doing the things in order to get the rewards that I'm not looking forward to. So why the fuck am I doing this? If anything, Shadowlands revealed the failure that has been World of Warcraft for the last seven or eight years. So yes, you are correct, but you're correct for the wrong fucking reasons. You're blaming the player base for exposing the shit design that is World of Warcraft. I'm sorry, that's not our fault. That's the fault of Blizzard. This guy is so all over the place, it's surreal. He brings up all the right points and then links them to all the wrong conclusions. This, th this guy has a fucking talent for taking everything that that you should mention and then linking it to the wrong fucking conclusion again he keeps going about legendaries right and every single time i i think i know where he's getting to he's gonna make all these points and then he's going to go and say uh the players wanted this removed so really it's the player's fault that shadowland sucks when in reality what he should be saying is that now that it's been removed we finally see how shit the game is. Just to bring up your chance at receiving a legendary. All these things were keeping you in the game and Blizzard got rid of all of these things. In mm -hmm. BFA, you didn't have legendaries. What you had, for example, was Benthic. Yet another way of keeping you in Najatar to grind mana pearls because you wanted the best possible roll on the Benthic items. The good effect plus the socket. So you can see where I am trying to get with this thought process. The thought process... Yeah, I see where you're going and you're heading off the fucking cliff, mate. ...is that it's a complicated situation because you have the feeling, you have the idea, you have the memory of having a better time, having a more engaged relationship with Legion and with BFA compared to Shadowlands. But at the same time, that engagement was the child of manipulative, treacherous and unethical systems which pushed you to consume... He blames the systems, but he stole his premise is that the players are to blame for this. Is this guy gonna do some five hit fucking 180 turn at the end of this video? Because it feels like that's what we're building towards. He's gonna make this a time video that at the end he's gonna go, this exposes how Blizzard's game is just designed shit. Because he blames the systems for all the same reasons as everyone else does. It seems like he's trying to make the point that those systems at least kept people playing. More content, even if you were frustrated, even if you weren't enjoying it that much, just because it was tied to character power. Whereas in Shadowlands, you had the ethical, nice, and player-friendly decision from Blizzard to get... Okay. Ethical, nice friendly okay okay i can't remember when i asked for systems such as shadowlands but apparently i fucking did get rid of all of these shackles to no longer force you to grind anima power to no longer force you to grind systems because you had some very direct character power attached to these systems unfortunately what blizzard discovered on their own skins is that if people don't have if players don't have that type of incentive they won't really do that content they want because the content isn't good that's why they won't do it make the point mate it's right in front of you 180 degrees brother look at the points that you're making and then link it to the right fucking thing truly engage in a content which only offers some mild transmog and cosmetic 
rewards, especially if they are pretty pricey and pretty grindy. Blizzard thought that they could substitute increasing the level of your artifact weapon or increasing the level of your artifact necklace. They thought they could replace that amount of grind with grinding anima to unlock a transmog set. Of course, people had not really the same idea in their minds, because they have shown that they were willing to grind that content if it meant they could improve their character, but if you take away all of that and you just leave them with some cosmetic stuff, they're not gonna have the same drive and the same push to complete that content. So, yeah, unironically, guess. that is how I feel, and that is why I feel we have a problem right now. The ironic part is that Blizzard has made people more free. They have freed them of all of these constraints, all of these nasty and frankly frustrating constraints and shackles that existed in Legion and BFA that forced you to continue to consume content for player power, even if it was repetitive, even if it was RNG to the max. The problem <sighs> is that once they removed all of these constraints, the player base realized- Actually, Gorgi has a good fucking point there. Blizzard have ultimately given us more freedom. Well, technically people are now playing other games. That is the max level of freedom that you can have in a video game, right? They didn't really have the drive, the incentive and the push to do any of that content because they just don't care, which is both funny and sad at the same time because it drives yet another point to the camp of people who believe that the you think you do, but you don't statement is very true the statement that the player base in the end doesn't really know it's what not it the wants and fault of the players bro the players wanted a good game blizzard designed a shit game and then forgot to add the rewards that keep people playing the shit game shouldn't really be listened to when developing the game because at this point given the reception to shadowlands there are arguments to be made because what if blizzard kept all of these blackmails, all of these emotional manipulations in the game to get you to play more. What if the legendary system in Shadowlands had a mini talent tree that you needed to level up with anima power and anima power was available in world quests and in Torghast? What if people would still probably have started quitting the game? Why? Because people were fed up with it at the end of Legion. BFA took it to a whole new level. People were fed up with it at the end of BFA. If Shadowlands did the exact same thing, people would probably have ended up quitted, quitting even sooner because people were at their fucking limit. The only difference is that because now in Shadowlands, the, the rewards blow, people are starting to realize, wait a second, but the content blows as well. So there's no reason for me to keep playing and in the Mo and in the Courtia dailies. You might very well have kept hearing the complaints of the community, just like you heard the complaint of artifact power farming in Legion and like you heard the complaint of Azerite farming in BFA, but you are pretty much certain that the players would have spent more time in the game and would have... I don't know how much, much more I can st uh, stomach of this video, guys. The, the guy's takes are miserable not complained that there was nothing to do in the expansion. What if they made shards of domination much larger, like a socket in every piece of item and shards of domination were droppable in every bit of content and they were completely RNG. Yet another manipulative and treacherous system that pushes you to spend more content at the cost of your sanity and your frustration because you, because you never quite know when you were going to get the shards you wanted, but you're also certain that you would have gotten people to spend more time into the game because they wanted to power up their character with these shards so they would have consumed more of the content what if they uh. made legendary crafting even more rng what if they enlarged okay, the what ways if, yeah. in which you could obtain soul cinders and soul ash so from multiple avenues of content I, like make them i do not like any of the ideas that this guy is throwing out so i'm hoping he gets to the point fucking fast available even in world quests 
but crafting legendaries was basically RNG and you had no ways of choosing which ones you were crafting so you had to constantly grind this currency to be able to craft legendaries yet another system which would have caused people to complain because it made them spend a lot of time chasing these items in game but just like in Legion and just like in BFA it would have made people spend more time in the game. This is why I feel like it's a pretty funny and sad situation, because Blizzard gave the players what they wanted, which was the removal of all of these constraints, this RNG systems, this no. repeatable grind forced on you because of character power. Unfortunately, this made the player base realize that if they are not being forced, they don't really want to do world quests. If All right. It's right there now. You've just said it. You've said all the right words in the right order. Now link it. Players got what they asked for. Not really. Let's be real. But let's imagine that we're accepting what this guy... The, the, we're accepting what this guy says. Yeah? The difference is Blizzard didn't realize that, hey, if we don't make the game fun, people will not keep playing the game. That's the fucking difference. They need to make the game interesting to play without relying on rewards. That's the point that this guy needs to get to. If they are not being forced, they would much rather just do the content they enjoy. For many people, it's and, like... And being forced in a fucking video game, being forced... Look, you're forced to work because you need money. So your boss can force you to do things that you don't necessarily want to do because it's boring, but you have to do it to get money. You should never be fucking forced to play a video game. Either pvp or mythic plus perhaps just raid logging so if they don't have anything that is going to force them to stay in the game for character power then they would rather just not do it the problem is that then this is going to bring us where we are now which is the no because again you're framing the issue so that it makes your point but you're not being honest about that if your game is good to play you don't have to force people to play the game They'll just play it because it's fun. He complained that there is basically nothing to do in the game, that the game feels empty and the content just doesn't last enough. Because 9.1 launches, you have your shards of domination to obtain. It might take you a couple of weeks. If you raid, you're going to take another few weeks to get your items to put the shards into. But after that, your chase for character power is over. You don't have to continue grinding world quests. You don't have to continue grinding or an endless character power gain you don't want to do multiple difficulties of the raids or chase item world quests because something might titan forge and be great so it severely limits the push the incentive that you have to stay in the game this is currently the main issue in shadowlands we might talk in the future about what possible solution we could have in the game to fix this however it is going to be a quite hard task because at the no. end of the day doing world quests is not too good of an activity so it's kind of difficult to imagine making people want to do world quests if you don't tie them with character power but i am sure we might find something uh, worth enough for people no we're not gonna find something worth enough because you keep tying the success of this game to rewards you keep saying that this game sucks because the rewards aren't there to incentivize people to play the game the fix is easy you make the game fun if it's not fun why is it in the game that's the fix so i i could not disagree more with this guy's take i'm, I'm gonna stop watching here because uh, I've, I've had enough of this now.